Hello Libra, Elsie here to do your reading for the week ahead, my friends. Thank you so much for clicking here. If you are brand new and you've never been to Ten of Cups Tarot before, thank you for giving it a shot. I do appreciate you. If you'd like to stay, I hope you will hit the, su the subscription button. We like to be in the comments around here. So if you like to be in the comments, we're a bit of a community by now. You will get um, to be in the comments and I like to be there as well. So I hope that you will stay. So if you are someone who is my ride or die, someone who is always clicking and watching, uh, viewing and sharing, thank you so much for doing that. I do appreciate you. We are I'm um, going to be looking at uh, the circle cards this week. That's what we've been doing. <clears throat> so we do have uh, the tea leaf oracle. We're going to start with that. Then we do have Amira's coffee cup oracle here. We will get a few cards from that. And then we're going to follow up, of course, with tarot as we always do. I like to mix the energies here. Libra, if you're interested in a private read, please look below this video. You will find a, a link that says more. And when you click that link, everything you need is there to book me over at Wizio. All right. Libra, this is your reading for the week ahead. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Cards are popping already. Let's get those over here. What else do we need to know? Uh, whenever this reading comes up, whether it's today, tomorrow, or next year, it's always going to be for the week ahead, my friend. Wow, okay. We've got things that are flying everywhere. We've got three cards, maybe a couple more. All right, there we are. Let's get those on the table. And let's find out what's going on with these. Tell me about Libra, please. Tell me about Libra. Woo! That one flew. I'll pick it up in a second. Hang on. There we go. All right, bottom of the deck, we have the wolf. It says cunning and stealth. That is a full moon. We do have a full moon in your sign coming up, my friend. Full moon in Libra is on the 25th of March. It also is an eclipse, which is something different. I'll be doing a reading about that as well. Hang on. All right. There we go. Leave those. Let's read these first. We've got the crown. It says, honor and respect will come to you. Who doesn't like that, right? We do have wind chimes, peace and harmony. Look, I mean, that's pretty great to start out with. Honor, respect, peace and harmony. Look, there's nothing bad about that. Then we do have the dolphin, financial gain. <laughs> usually coming from something you did in the past you are getting some good karma my friend that's why things are working in your way here this looks to be like very a very beautiful time for you here we have the dog close up pleasure with a close friend i like it and then we have the fair man dealing with in a relation dealings or relationship with a man with blonde hair um, blonde gray or white hair you could have all of those things, um, but maybe this person is someone who is significant in your life. Now, they could be blonde or gray or white. They could be someone who's older than you or younger than you. It could be a father. It could be a, a you know, a, a patriarch of some sort, a father, a grandfather, a brother, but it could be a romantic interest as well. We've got here teeth. It says control and change. So there is a, a bunch of control. Uh, you need to let go of control in order to allow change. If you keep... Um, trying to control the ending or control the situation or control the path that you're on or the journey, I feel like you need to lighten up a little bit here. I feel like you're about to unlock something if you do. You do have a key here. So with with uh, changing control, I do believe that you will unlock something, maybe the next level. <laughs> so we do have the crown. Oh, we've got the crown twice here. We've got the crown. It says success and pride. Look, something is coming that's really good for you here. It could have to do with romance. It says romance and sweetness. We've got the flowers. You might be unlocking the next level of your of your simulation, my friend. I feel like you are unlocking some things that have been locked or have, I feel like we're you're, it feels like you have a key you're putting in the door and you're opening the door and there's like lots of sunshine. Actually, what my, my guide Charlie is showing me is if you've ever seen The Wizard of Oz, you know that everything starts out in black and white and when Dorothy opens the door for the first time, she sees everything in Technicolor. And that's what it feels like. You have the key to the door that you're opening and all of a sudden, everything is in color. And it feels like there's nothing but success here. Like it's all positive stuff. Really positive stuff. Let's get some tarot for you. Right. Tell me about Libra, please. What's coming up for Libra? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Tell me about Libra. For the week ahead, tell me about Libra. Tell me about Libra. 
we have heartbreak and I said I think you came from a really hard cycle that is now about to end but it's up to you Libra you're the one that has the key you got to put it in the door and leave everything else behind you you know everybody closes doors behind them right once you open the door you're going to be closing another and uh, so I feel like the door that you're closing here is the three of swords and uh, people who have been trying to manipulate your you or your energy it feels like you were stuck or codependent with some sort of situation that was um breaking your heart giving you pain like hurting you it feels like it's an obsessive thought i want to say that you're still allowing it to hurt you but it's it's an obsessive thought that you can release at any moment. You can re release yourself from the devil here. We do have the Ace of Pentacles. There is something here. It could be that you've been obsessively thinking about money, right? How to get out of a situation. And maybe it's going to take you taking a different path, changing your life, doing something drastic to change your life. This pentacle is already rooted. You can see there's already roots here. This thing is ready to be planted. And so I feel like it's going to take you planting that that uh, Ace of Pentacles or investing in yourself uh, in order for things to change here. But I feel like you're coming out of a super tough cycle here, Libra. Super tough cycle. We have the world or the wheel. I love it. Okay. So the wheel is here and I feel like this is what's changing. I feel like we have come into a new cycle. You're about to be picked up. <laughs> I don't know why I want to say picked up and thrown into the next into the next cycle here. That's what it feels like. It feels like the, the wheel is coming by and saying, no, there's no time for you to sit here and, and be sad about whatever happened in the past. The Three of Swords person is, <coughs> pardon me, is uh, facing the past. I feel like the Wheel of Fortune is here. It's fortunate change that is here, my friend. Tell me more about Libra. Ooh-wee. It's coming at the right time. I'm saying ooh we because it feels like it's a good thing. You know, the, the people are, uh, a lot of people are like, uh, you know, why so many towers? But listen, what's worse? Having towers, having the illusion fall and seeing everything for what it is and being able to move forward or being stuck behind the tower forever? Who wants to be stuck here? I don't want to be stuck there. I don't think you do either. So I feel like you should welcome this tower. You should welcome these huge and I mean huge changes. Like when the tower shows up with the Wheel of Fortune, it's it's going to be fortunate, but first it's going to be shit. <laughs> it's going to be a shit show. Uh, and I'm laughing because I hope that you see the beauty in it. I hope that you see the mercy in it. Because I feel like there is something that is coming that is that I feel is, is going to break everything down for you to see that it was something you didn't need or didn't want or it had been stuck there. You had been stuck there in this obsessive energy here, obsessively thinking about people that did you wrong, did, you know, were terrible to you, people who said things that were terrible to you. I feel like this energy is the big energy that's needed to bust you out of this. Tell me about uh, the Ace of Pentacles, please. We do have the Queen of Cups. It, it almost feels like somebody here needs to pull away from their mother. <laughs> I want to say that it, it's, it could be that you need to pull away from your mother. That's only a little bit of energy that I got immediately as I put down the Queen of Cups. But I want to say for the Queen of Cups, this is the person who is kind, compassionate, loving, and beautiful. And I want to say this person's on the other side of the tower. So whether this is someone you know or not, I feel like you're going to be like... Either the Queen of Cups will invest in you or you are investing in the Queen of Cups. But I feel like there's some big, huge change coming for you here, my friend. We do have the Lovers. It is in the reverse. Why? Because the King of Swords is here. So it feels like um, with the Lovers in the reverse to me, it's like... Um, you thought you had a soulmate connection and you didn't. And I feel like you had to cut that person out of your life. I feel like you had to make a really hard decision that you didn't want to make, my friend. And we do have uh, the King of Swords, of course, who is um, Aries, uh, not Aries, sorry, Aquarius, uh, Libra and Gemini energy, right? I feel like you had to be very honest with somebody. I don't think this is going to work. I don't think that we're soulmates. I don't think we should be together. And I feel like you made the really hard decision to cut them out because I feel like that there were some things that you could not get past and these are fundamental differences right and they lead to conflict they lead to conflict disagreements it's like battle of egos that kind of thing I think that it was really weighing heavy on you 
really heavy on you and I feel like you were in maybe a relationship where all you were doing was fighting and arguing maybe you know you were doing the right fight maybe you were maybe they were I don't know I'm not blaming it on anybody but this person will not will not get off their soapbox if they know that they are right they will take it to the ground <laughs> they will get in a sword fight right when they know that they're right and I feel that you knew you were right and the only way that you could stay in an energy I, I feel like it, the only way that you could stay in this honorable noble energy where you know the truth is the truth it almost feels like somebody was gaslighting you like they're like no but we're supposed to be together and you're like no this is not the way it's supposed to be like possibly someone was gaslighting you here all right let's clarify just a little bit here So I feel like it, it makes sense here that the Three of Swords is um, is here uh, with the Devil energy because it does feel like possibly you had to cut somebody out. Um, maybe you're feeling sad about that. But I want to say that um, this is about to change. Everything is about to change. And I love that for you. It's not going to be easy to change. Look, change is never easy. When we have to quit doing something in order to get something better, we don't really see it in the moment that it's happening. All we see is the change. It can be, it can be terrible, especially with the, with the tower involved. So not only are things changing, but your old illusion or whatever that was or whatever was before this, whatever you felt like you were, you were locked and didn't have the key, I feel like this this energy here is is um, falling. Everything's falling to the ground. All the things that you never did need anyway. Uh, we do have Scorpio, Taurus, Aquarius, Leo energy here. We do have more Scorpio energy here. Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer, Capricorn here. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy. Tell me more about the wheel, please. What do we need to know about the wheel and the Three of Swords? We do have the Ten of Pentacles. We do have uh, Gemini, the Knight of Swords. And we have another Knight, the Knight of Wands. It, it does feel like whatever is coming is really abundant. Um, it might be a long-term something. Like I'm just looking over here that we do have the Queen. We have Success and Pride, plus we have Romance and Sweetness. This person is sweet, very sweet. Um, and it could be that we are rolling forward here um, I feel like some things are happening really quick. I feel like this change is happening too quick for you. And because you're a person who likes balance, no matter whether whether it comes up in your sun, moon, or rising, I feel like you're a person who likes balance, financial balance, long-term balance. I feel like you like a long-term relationship. You like things to get into a place where they're almost like... I wouldn't say boring, but I feel like you like to be able to anticipate whatever's going on so you can balance it as it comes at you. I want to say with this uh, Ten of Pentacles here in the Wheel of Fortune that your money is about to get great, like really good. I feel like you're about to come into either a promotion or a job, or maybe you're if you've opened your own business or you are someone who is a painter, a writer. I always see you as the creative one, right? A painter, a writer, someone who's a musician. I feel like there is an opportunity coming up here for you to make a lot of money. And then we have um, the, uh, the, the Knight of Swords here. There's information that is is coming to you super quickly. It's going to be very impulsive. Somebody is maybe going to call you or you're going to have communication with somebody and it's going to change everything. Everything. It's going to snap you out of this Three of Swords and it's going to change everything. It does uh, feel like there's a tower coming here to fight the devil. I'm just going to say, whatever you thought was going on here, whatever obsession you thought you might have had or... Um, the devil is also doubt, it's fear, it's um, scarcity, I'm not enough, I can't have enough. I feel like that's why the tower's here. Because you need a big energy to fight the big energy, you know what I mean? I feel like the tower is here, like, I feel like this is this is your source, your God, your universe. And the universe is saying, nah, you can't, you can't hang on to my Libra like that. I feel like it's coming to bust this in half here. Um, to break the chains. Maybe you felt like you were being played by somebody here. Tell me about the tower and the devil, please. The tower always wins. Scorpio is not going to let no one else win. <laughs> if you know, you know. <laughs> There's just no way. Tell me about. Um, tell me about the tower. Not even uh, Capricorn can outsmart Scorpio. <laughs> Tell me about uh, the tower, please. 
We have the Two of Wands, we have the Eight of Wands, and we have the Eight of Cups. There we go. Disconnecting from the Devil. I love it. I love it for you. So disconnecting from the Devil. Look, what the Tower is bringing to you is um, adventure. The Tower is forcing you to get out there and live your life in the world. It's time for you to get out of the house, get out of the mindset, get out of the place where you were stuck, which I think is the Three of Swords and the Devil. I feel like you were, like there was some sort of a codependency here um, that you needed to break out of. And I think that uh, in the week ahead, you are realizing that you have a whole world in your hands. It's time for the adventure. It's like you're, this person's at the top of the castle, right? Sort of surveying the land that they own. They know they can go anywhere and be anything they want. And I feel like it's a really big decision that you're making here. But first, you're going to have to drop some burdens, right? We've got the eight and the two of wands. You're first going to have to drop some burdens. But look, things start to pick up really quickly here because you decide to walk away or disconnect from the fear, the doubt, whatever it is that you were carrying around or whatever was um, uh, connected to you or whatever you felt you were chained to or whoever was playing you like a puppet. I feel that this this tower here is coming to give you movement. It's coming to give you movement and hope, I feel. Hope with the Wheel of Fortune, right? Things are changing in a fortunate way. And um, I feel like with the Two of Wands and the Eight of Wands, you're dropping some burdens and it's time to be on your way. It's time for you to disconnect from somebody. What I think is coming up here is there's somebody here, whoever this person is, I don't know if you know who they are, but uh, somebody here who's feminine or masculine, Queen of Cups, Scorpio Pisces Cancer. Um, this person's going to invest in you or you're going to invest in them. Tell me what's going on with the Queen of Cups, please. Tell me about Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Tell me about Libra. Ooh, okay. Somebody is feeling... Um, like they need to move forward or take a step forward here. It almost feels like with the with the um, King of Wands that somebody is inspired, inspired by love or inspired by kindness or compassion. Somebody is going to inspire you to um, make some sort of investment or change your life. Like the Ace of Pentacles, when it shows up, is everything. It's abundance, abundance. Go look it up in the dictionary. It means everything, right? It's nothing specific. So I feel like somebody who really has great love for you, whether it's your mother or um, an older sister, or maybe this is a love, maybe this is romantic love, somebody who's quite psychic. And uh, I feel like this person is inspiring you to move forward. I feel like you're almost taking one last look back there, and then you're, you're going to move forward and plant this pentacle here. We've got uh, the Four of Cups. It's almost as if you're being inspired to move forward because you don't want to miss some type of opportunity that's going to be offered to you here. The King of Wands is, is inspired to step forward. I feel like inspired by the Queen to step forward and look at the opportunity that is in your face, which I feel is not only the Ace of Cups, but is also the Ace of Pentacles. And we have the Nine of Wands, but you're terrified. I feel like this is this is the energy that you've been living in for a while, um, that you've allowed the devil to tell you who you are. You've allowed the devil to tell you that you don't have enough, that you aren't enough, that things are going badly. And I think it's a damn lie. I think the devil's a liar. I think fear's a liar, honestly. And uh, I, I feel like um, this energy here of you being uh, fearful, I feel is no longer going to be because whoever this person is to you, they're about to inspire you to drop some burdens. We do have the King of Wands has one wand and the nine, which is 10. They're going to inspire you. Look, drop those burdens. Again, we have 10, 10 um, wands here, right? Um, it's like, you know, you should drop them, but you're kind of involved in the tower, which is a complete shit show, right? <laughs> which is really hard to deal with. And I feel like there is somebody here who is going to inspire you and say, remember, Libra, you need to drop your burdens in order to get this opportunity. And I feel like this opportunity is huge. It's going to change who you are. This person here, I feel, could be someone who is a romantic interest. They don't have to be someone who is uh, in your family. Tell me about this romance here. Look, it's coming up as the Ten of Cups here. So this this person is someone who is part of or going to point you to ultimate happiness here. Uh, we do have the five of pentacles and we have the seven of pentacles. No more looking, you know, no more waiting. Yeah, that I think you were starting to think, is it really even worth it? Is this life really even worth it? Is it worth all the hardship I've gone through, all the waiting? I'm not a pentacle farmer. How do I farm pentacles, right? It feels like you're 
you weren't really sure, but I feel like it's the end of the waiting. And I feel like your Ten of Cups is coming, your ultimate happiness. And I feel like this person here, your queen, is somebody who is successful as well. They also have a lot of pride. This person is someone who has built themselves alone. So they are someone, I feel, who is coming to, to inspire you with love and kindness and compassion. Ah, I love that for you. I love that for you, whether they are a romantic person or not. We do have the judgment here. You're making big decisions in the week ahead. I feel like it doesn't stop in the week ahead. Um, I feel like these big decisions are coming up and they're they're going to naturally put you in the two of swords. You're like, I don't know if this is going to work. What the heck is going on? Things are moving so quickly. I don't want to get hurt. I feel like you you don't see the situation yet for what it is. But I feel like as, it, as we get into the week ahead, I feel like you're going to start making some really big decisions about about what it is that you want to do here, um, that you no longer want to be in this heavy energy of the Ten of Wands. I feel like there's some stuff coming up that you don't see, my friend. And uh, we do have the Seven of Swords here. It's being concealed from you here. So I feel like some big decisions are coming up. You're not going to want to make those big decisions, but they are going to change your life, my friend. That has got to be the best reading that I've done all week long. Thank you for that energy. I'm going to go, Libra, and uh, you take care. I'll be back. Love you guys. Bye.